Well, we've got a warm week in store across much of the inland northwest. All three of my weather headlines are basically that it's going to be hot. 90s today. First hundreds of the year in the days to come in this hot weather lasts through the weekend. Right now, it is officially the warmest day we have seen so far in 2022. We sit at 94 degrees. That beats our last couple warm days by just a degree. But to put this in perspective, so far this year, we have hit 90 degrees five times, not including today. And not including today, the hottest temperatures so far have been 93 degrees. That was back on the 27th of June and the 24th of this month, which was just yesterday. So to put this in perspective, this is the warmest stretch of the year we have seen so far by far. And in the days to come, we soar into the triple digits. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday look like they will all be in the hundreds. And even as we cool down, it looks like temperatures remain well above normal. And keep in mind, this is historically the warmest stretch of the year for us. Our average high temperature is about 87 degrees. And in order to have a heat wave, we've got to be at least 10 degrees above it for at least three days. And the 27th, 28th, and 29th easily do that. Even the 30th, that's Friday, does it. And when it comes to records, it's likely both Thursday and Friday, excuse me, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is that other one, Thursday and Friday have the potential to break some of those long-standing records for us. And when you're talking this kind of heat, it is dangerous. There are so many reasons it's dangerous. We will be talking about that throughout this show, but what you need to know is that we have excessive heat warnings in place for temperatures in the 90s and hundreds through 11 p.m. on Friday. And part of the reason is, as the sun goes down each night, we don't get much reprieve. Tomorrow morning, we will be in the 60s, mid 60s for a lot of us. So tomorrow morning is kind of one of the cooler mornings of the next few. Tomorrow afternoon, we crank up the thermometer the temperature or whatever you want to say. 98 in Spokane, 95 in Coeur d'Alene, 92 up in Sandpoint, widespread triple digits across central Washington, and that heat continues to expand. Basically, this ridge of high pressure that moves through kind of takes over. And what that means for us is that we heat up and dry out. Thursday offers a couple of clouds and a little bit of moisture in the atmosphere. Hopefully it's not too much in the way of humidity, but seriously, we're talking temperatures in the triple digits Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and staying above normal through the weekend.